What's up guys? Welcome back to the GNS Trucking YouTube channel. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. I ate so much. I guarantee you I gained 10 pounds. So um, it is Friday, Black Friday. Um, all the sales are going on today. So I'm sitting here editing the video and I got to thinking, I'm like, you know what? Everybody's supported the channel so much lately. It's Black Friday. So we're going to give you guys a 25% off code to put in at checkout. Type in Gentry BF, which is down at the bottom of the screen. Um, type that in when you check out, and you will get 25% off on whatever if you go and buy a shirt off of the YouTube channel. So the shirts we have on there are still the black Gentry and Sons shirt, our first shirt ever, which turned out pretty awesome um, with my Peterbilt, my baby. Um, that is what you're gonna be getting. So what we have left on there, I think we've got just about all sizes pumped 6X. So go on there, you'll see what's there and what's not, and use that code, get you a shirt, and 25% off. And we'll get it shipped out to you. My wife kills it on shipping. Usually within a couple of days, you've got your shirt. Next order of business, guys. And I hope you guys are excited about this, especially as excited as I am. So you guys know I put somebody in my Peterbilt, Kenny. Kenny has taken awesome care of it. He keeps it polished. He keeps it clean. So that takes my awesome truck away. Um, he does such a great job with it. I'm not going to take him out of it. I'm not, you know, and I want to have, I either want to, I want a large car for me to drive when I go to the event, you know, to the events and something I can sleep in, got plenty of room in. And it's got to be a Peterbilt or a W900. It just has to be, or one of the cab overs. Well, that gold w900 that i've got i've had that thing for like almost three years now I, I ran it for a year or two and uh we put a new crate motor in it new transmission it's got brand new rears in it that truck the drivetrain is like brand new on that truck well guess what the reason i hadn't been using it is because i didn't have a title for it which there it is kw 2000 w900 whatever i ain't gonna show you all this address um so that's the title for that gold kw all right i bought that off one of my drivers who was in a really bad situation which i'm about to put a complete whole video out about that what you should not ever do when it comes to buying a truck um he owed them almost i think it's 111 thousand dollars all right for a twenty five thousand dollar loan a hundred and eleven thousand dollars that's crazy fees you know that's why he had a wreck in it and some crazy stuff happened which i ain't gonna touch on all that right now but he owed him one hundred eleven thousand dollars. they're gonna take his house this and that blah 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 so here i am definitely didn't need the truck definitely didn't need to get into this mess i paid for this truck three years ago i just now got the title i've been fighting with him for three years so Guys, the W900 is coming back. It's coming onto the channel. We are going to build the crap out of that truck. So get excited for that because I definitely am. I'm actually, it's cold outside right now. It's getting dark, but I'm about to go get it right now. But I'm going to let you guys finish up this video. We went and delivered those cars at the RTR Lab, Bond Getting Junior's place, and it was awesome. So go check that out. We took a tour of it. And of course, we ran that little freight liner in the, in the ground so check that out see you guys later all right so guys i got 929.7 miles on that tank of fuel i just used 122 gallons on thousand miles how many well 930 miles i gotta do the math on that 930 miles how much 122 gallons 7.62 what Calculator. Almost 80 miles to the gallon of this thing. Yep. Wait till we get this thing completely tuned the way I want it. This thing is going to do awesome. And that, I'm telling you, that's 75 the whole entire way. Almost 8 miles to the gallon. That's pretty dang good. Brum, 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 Guys, I ain't got no exhaust. I have to make my own noises. Brum, 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 brum. Yeah, I got the tunnel, baby. I know y'all hate this. <laughs> oh, I don't care. I love it. Look at that. Look at that load. That is a freaking load on this trailer. 
This little truck just gets her done, too. I would get stuck buying the only freaking truck on the mountain tonight. So guys, I had to take the women home. I couldn't handle it no longer. You know how rough it was to ride back with them? Ashley drove for like 100 miles, and the other Ashley went back there and slept. Well, my Ashley was mad because, I don't know, we just, I said something. I said something funny, and uh, so she got mad because she lost her friggin' uh, Subway sandwich, not her Subway, her public sandwich, she got a public sandwich and then like uh, was gonna save it for the trip home. Well, my wife loves to eat, she's a foodie. And uh, we were coming home and I heard Ashley back there moving around eating her sandwich. Well, I ate my sandwich and uh, they were both taking naps. Well, Ashley won, which is my wife, got up, and uh, I was just telling her how much I enjoyed my sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what she done with hers, but I'm sure we'll start smelling it soon. Because that thing is nowhere to be found in this truck. I have no clue. I think Ashley, too, ate it. I'm about sure Ashley, too, ate it. But I just thought it was funny, and she did not. She definitely did not think it was funny. So the rest of the ride was a little bit uneasy. Guys, I want to touch on something. Um, I've got to, I've just got to unleash. So guys, I'm not, I try to be serious on the YouTube channel just because I know trucking's serious and I know the way we do our YouTube is pretty serious. So um, I do crack some jokes here and there, but I don't ever just get to have fun on here. I want to have fun, but I don't want it to mess up the channel. So if I get too carried away, just let me know, because I do care about you guys. I've seen some stupid comments, I, and I don't hate feeding into the haters, but I've seen some comments, I don't care about you guys, and you know, not finishing projects and stuff. But guys, we have been busy. We're trying to run a business. We're trying to be family people and, and do stuff, and not just be stuck at the house all the time. And that's what happens. You get carried away into these projects, you get stuck at the house. And we're, so we're gonna get all the trucks together when I get home and and put them all in line and we're gonna vote on which one y'all wanna see finished first. The Air Force truck, we are just waiting on interior. So that's the only reason why we're not messing with that truck right at the moment. I don't wanna get it stuffed in the shop and rip it apart and then have to move it to the new shop once it, we get that figured out. And I'll give you guys an update on the new shop as soon as I can. Holy crap, this is getting serious. This is where they're doing the new work on the gorge. So we are on the gorge going up to North Carolina. We're headed to Charlotte to drop off these cars. The NASCAR guys, you know, they all live up here in Charlotte, so. That's where we be headed. Back to what I was saying though, um, I, I just can't be serious to, you know, like all the time. I've got to have a little bit of fun. And I've been watching back through the videos and I just don't have, I don't like, I just, I'm so serious all the time. Well, if you're serious all the time, you're not going to have fun. So I'm going to unleash a little bit and have a good time. And on the trucks, so the burnout truck, I can't put it into any burnout competitions. Every time I try to take it to one, you know, they're worried about it being real sketchy and stuff and it going through a wall and killing somebody, you know, stuff like that. So I can't put that truck in a burnout competition. The only thing I know to do is pull that engine out and put it in the Marine cab over. Instead of putting that stock 12.7 in the Marine cab over, I want to put that, that monster of an engine in there and actually put it out on the road, maybe just twin turbos on it, some or a compound setup, and see how it does. Make an 800 horse truck or something like that. That thing makes 800 pretty reliably. You know, it holds together pretty good at 800. If we can keep from burning up a piston, you know, on long hard pulls and be getting hot, you know, we just have to watch CGTs. And if we do compounds on it, it shouldn't be no issue. 800 should be reliable on that truck. So that's what we're thinking on the Marine truck. The W900, uh, same deal. If, if you guys want to see that thing done first, let me know. The uh, Classic, that's going to be one that's going to be pretty quick. Uh, I know, you know, guys, 
guys are sticking out with me. I promise you I'll get them done. I really wanted to get a new shop, get everything in there where we got bays where they can work on it, you know, work on the trucks, have them a place where they can stay instead of having to move them all the time. Because that gets really annoying, moving those trucks all the time. But anyways, I'm going to get back to the trip. We are almost over here. Since we get to the gorge, we got, I think, like 100 and something, 120 miles left. And we'll be there. My brakes on the trailer, I don't know what's going on with them. They got good pads, um, so it's got good brakes all around it. Um, the hydraulic motor's working. The brake box is where I don't know where my problem is, but I've been trying to chase it down today. And I am coming up on Black Mountain. Check that out. No brakes. No resistance. And the box is working. And on four, um, Ralph told me flat out, you know, hey, on level four, I think should like really be pulling against you. I shouldn't be able to do that right there. It should lock it up. So, um, that is definitely an issue we're dealing with right now. And I'm getting ready to go down Black Mountain. I've never took this truck down a mountain yet. And it don't have an eject brake. It has like, it does have an exhaust brake like built in. But I've never used it. You know, like you don't manually turn it on. It just comes on by itself when it wants to. So hopefully it helps. I don't know if that's a regen or something right there, but I don't think that's the exhaust brake. Either way, we've got to figure out how to take this mountain. I got know I got to take it easy. Okay, there we go. So we're getting ready to come up on it. I am going to stop up here and see one more time if I can get these brakes figured out. It's got to be a wire, but the pump's working, so I don't get. I was thinking maybe the pump went out. Because if the pump's kicking on, the only thing could be stopping is hydraulic. You know, it's a hydraulic pump, so it's electric over hydraulic. I don't know. So we gotta figure that out. And then we'll be safe. But the battery's charged up on it. I've got the wire, I fixed the wires on the that wire that I ripped out, and that keeps the little battery charged and the truck being hooked up helps charge it too so it ain't battery power it's, it's something dumb I hope I hope it's not the hydraulic motor but we're getting ready to be at the top of the mountain we're going to stop and see if we can fix them and go down safely all trucks must exit next to right. need to stop and figure that out this truck pulls like a champ, though. There it is. Well, I'm gonna get out, put my jacket on, and see if we can work on these brakes a little bit. All right, well, I'm guessing we lost the hydraulic motor because it's all working and everything. Let me turn it up. That's nine, nothing. Oh shoot, yeah, I guess they are working now. Oh no, I'm on that speed bump. <laughs> I thought the brakes were locked up. I was like, what the heck? Sure, we can handle this thing a lot faster, guys, but I ain't gonna risk it. New truck, new trailer. This ain't worth it. I mean, this thing does not like not having trailer brakes either at all. Actually, he is helping holding it back a little bit. Stop for a rod goes 
through though. See, if it's like a trailer brakes, it would slow down this, like this, you could just fly down this mountain. Literally fly down through here. And the trailer brakes are working, this thing stopped awesome. to ever have to hit one of those right there. I've seen what it does to a truck. If you've ever hit a runaway truck ramp, let me know down in the comments if you got pictures of it or video or anything like that. I would love to put it on my Instagram or, on, or maybe even on the channel. And guys, if you would like for the top comment, so I'm really thinking about doing something like if you Leave a good comment, you know, the top comment, one of the most likes, um, maybe the top 10 comments or something like that. Get a shout out on the channel. Uh, let me know if you'd like something like that. And uh, the rudest comments, like the haters, if you want the haters to get called out and me to bash on the haters a little bit, because I love having fun with those guys, uh, let me know in the comments. Wow, that's three runaway truck ramps right in a row. Like these are really close together. So this must be a bad spot. And if you look how serious these runaways are, would you look how seriously? Oh, somebody's hit that one for sure. Look how serious that is. You hit one of those bad boys right there, you are destroying a truck. That one out there is a more, a little bit more aggressive one. But I guess if you miss the other two, or three. Now let's put this thing to work. This thing climb. <laughs> it's like a go. I'm going to try to take this thing over to my buddy's shop in Mooresville tomorrow. See if we can get in and put it on a dyno and see exactly what it's putting down to the tire. I'm shooting for like the 500 horse range. Maybe get a little bit more tuning done. Guys, look at this big old buck. There he goes. Well, I wish I had my gun with me. That'd have been a good one. Anyways, I made it over here to the lab. This is the Bond Gittin Jr. race place. I mean, this place is awesome. You can tell it's his because of the black marks. I knew when I made it to the right place. Because it came back in here like an industrial park. come to the wrong place and then as soon as I come on back past the truck sitting there seeing the black marks I said yeah we're here we've made it and then a big old buck comes I mean it don't get no better it's just cool but I am going to get back here in this little bitty sleeper but you get back there it's pretty perfect you just get to get this little hole and take me a nap I could just go ahead and unload them and drop them off but i want to check this place out tomorrow and trying to get on a normal sleep schedule instead of staying up till five or six in the morning and then going to sleep and, and then not having a proper amount of sleep if i go ahead and unload them now i'm going to drive back you know to almost daylight then i'm going to go to sleep and so i'm going to get home at the same time regardless so i'm trying to work on my sleep schedule a little bit anyways guys we did make it over here and we'll go check this place out in the morning, get these things unloaded, and hopefully do something pretty cool. All right, guys, so we made it to RTR. I guess that's just what y'all call this place, ain't it, RTR? It's RTR Lab, yeah. This is where all, this is where all the fun takes place, ain't it? Yeah. Dude, this is like, so this is like your front offices and all that? Like, that's crazy. Absolutely. So, yep, yeah, this will be the, the front of the lab, you know, see everything through here. Where This will be open to the public probably in about, probably the front. Probably right after the first of the year, uh, you'll be able to be able to step out here and get a glimpse of what we got. 
cigarettes. Hey. It smells like Jeff smells like dad, coffee and cigarette. That, that's that's the morning scent. That's the morning. Guys, here's the four GT. Everybody knows this car. This thing is just, this is my favorite car ever. And there's the giveaway Bronco. That's the Ford Fairlane. Is that still for giveaway? I think so. And the Ford Ranger for Monster Rat. Right? That's Ford fucking Ranger to you, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the fun. So this is the one they took to SEMA. This is the SEMA build. This is the Fun Runner. This has. Um, well, it, 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 really, I should just cut you. Really, cut to Vaughn's video right now to show you everything in the walk around on this. Um, yep. it, it has, it pretty much has everything RTR and Funhaber can offer for the Bronco products right now. It has the long travel development kit, it has the, the Fox um, suspension, has a whole. Giffy, you know what else this has for? I think it's got Bronco RTR rubber, it has RTR bumpers, Under, underneath lights, any fenders. I mean, it's. RTR, that's RTR as you can get. It's ready to rock as you can get. I think that the rear end's different too. I'm not 100% sure. Donovan would be the one to tell you. We've got our race chassis being broken down right here. So Chelsea's. these are the FD cars? Yes, sir. These are the FD cars. So, yep. These are the pride and joy of the police, right? Here. And, I, I, yeah, I had, to, I had to tell them too that this is Adam's new car. So it's, that is Vaughn's old race car. It's being stripped down and completely tuned for him. So how has he been? Has he already been running it pretty good? He, we had we had one we had one we had, one, we had one test day. He was really good. And he uh, yeah you know obviously getting down to the mechanics of, of a Mustang coming from an S chassis and, oh, yeah, and yeah, on yeah. you know I'm I'm not super but the kid the kid can drive. He basically anything, wanted so. like a test just to be able to go out. He could feel the car and just you can tell him to do small things and if he achieves and does those small things you can figure out. And you got to drive it and listen. So oh yeah, we watched happened. we watched his vlog last night. Yeah, his, yeah. his vlog. It, that was one thing I did after after we tested with him. I wanted to see what he was like on the online. He's the same person. He's mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. one of the nicest people I've ever met. Humble, humble. Oh yeah, Adam is super, super, super nice dude. This is a giveaway car. Oh, yeah, Actually, yeah, we, we gave that away. This one is is has already been given away through Pet Boys. That was a. I mean, that's a bad. That's a bad boy. That is a. It looks like it's coyote a with a big whipple on it. It's probably pushing around eight hundred. Damn. I was lucky enough to drive that for Mustang week. Oh really? Yeah. I don't think you'd have had tires well, when I got there. Tickets in the muffle truck. So. <laughs> so who drives the rigs around here? Uh, we've got we've got a couple drivers. We got Frank. We have Rob. We have Cuz. Um, Sounds like truck drivers. Right. Here's the fun Hover Fox, guys. This thing is, we've seen this thing all over the place. There you go. It's the it's one. Got, it's got all the bumps and bruises still left on her. She's, she pretty much comes back. Well, I think they're actually getting the seat back fixed because it was well, when you, pretty low for collapsing and shredding it. When you uh, put a, your draft, you put everybody in that car. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what it's for. It's for fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, yeah. That's, We've got a couple of those cars. There's an S197 outside that the guys build to, uh, you know, to go out and shred. There's a couple of local tracks, Rockingham, and um, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Is there local tracks right here? Where yeah, like, you know, yeah, a couple of the guys like Jason. You met Jason with yeah. the FC. Um, he's still down in Florida, but he, um, him, Owen, uh, Giffy, Hayden, they all drive. So you know, I mean, there's there's a couple of cars that that can be built. Here's the electric. This is the Mach E fourteen hundred. Yeah, with I can tell lots you a thousand of things about this thing, but if you Google it, <laughs> yeah, just go check it out, guys. It was at um, SEMA. It's got seven so. motors. It's 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 pretty much the essential. Anything you can do, I can do electric. It can drift. It can rally. If if you check out the video, he did everything with Ken Block, Haley Deegan, Chelsea Denofa, uh, the whole gang, really. So. This has been all over the world, really. It just got back from Faroe Islands, did a video shoot there, That's which crazy. just dropped last week. You can check that out online um, through Monster's website for performance or Vaughn Gittins. Um, and it got wrapped to match the uh, Mach-E Cobra Jet, the, the drag, the electric yeah. drag car, which, you know, is insane. That's a sick shot right there in the middle. That's Freedom Factory shot right here. Yep. Dropping in. Yep. 
You know what I love about this shot is look look at the left rear tire. See the drone? Oh yeah. See the drone coming in hot right there. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. I gotta send out the gear real quick. Yeah. This is uh, this is right down the road in Wilkersonboro, where uh, pretty much NASCAR was 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 started. Right. Um, they were lucky enough to close down the mountains for Vaughn and Joey Logano to shred. That's uh, Vaughn and the X and Joey and his. Uh, what is that car called? Model T. Model T shredder. Yeah. There you go. That's great. Racing chassis. Mach-E So that Mach-E, dude, that thing looks like it means business. Yeah, it's kind of absurd. It's, it's, you really, I've only been in it. I've been, I went in it testing. I didn't get a ride in it at, uh, I didn't get a ride in it at SEMA, but from, from the second. Skippy's got you right now. Uh, well, that was right. Actually, that should be. Man, it's crazy seeing these things cut down like this. They're naked. Ain't got no clothes on. So, do y'all have any, like when y'all are at competition, do you ever have any part failures usually? Or I mean, um, for the most part, I've ever seen y'all just ripped. The only thing we had a failure on, I think was, I think with the last couple events, um, we had a uh, lower control arm, um, but that's only because we've been using the same arm for the whole season, I think. Um, but other than that, we started to find a different, I think it was a different lower control arm or a different di um different pattern that we're starting to use, but we had a little control on it fail. That's the only thing I think we've had in a long time. Skibby, we've only had, we don't have many failures. The only thing we had a failure on was that little control arm, right? That's it. That's literally the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing that's taken us out of the comp this year. Man, that's... This thing, it's really not a whole oh, lot that was, that was the rumble strip. That was going over those rumble strips. Yeah, yeah. That was that one. It, it, I think we changed the, the configuration of the lower, and other than that... Well, these motors, that's what amazes me, because I've watched Vaughn drive, even when he's just playing, and he really puts these engines to the thing. I mean, he tests the crap out of them. Well, that's what they were just doing. They were out at, they were at the track, literally trying to break them. But the thing is, you could get in these things and be an idiot, and you could break it, but when you're driving it in a way that it's supposed to be driven... Right. If they're... Like you, if you wanted to get in it and miss a shift and sit on the red limiter, I'm sure it would. You could probably do something stupid, but other than that, stay off the red limiter and do what you're told. Them things create a lot of power for a long time. Yeah, I've seen him sit on the red limiter. <laughs> there you go. He came to Indy. There, there's your doors. <laughs> so he came to Indy. Oh yeah, there's LZ. So guys, Adam LZ is driving this FD car now. That is cool as shit, man. You're late. You're late to the party. I know. I don't know. The whole GD world knows that already. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't keep up with the, all that, you know. Which one? On LG's first video, when you grab the phone and you took it, he gave you a deal. Did he? See, I was. Ever since I started YouTube, I don't watch YouTube no more. <laughs> oh, you, you, it's in, you know what? It's interesting because I've actually said that like a lot. Like I tell Vaughn, I tell Chelsea, like you got to watch, watch other stuff. You know, like I got get, get into people's technique, like see. Well, like, see, my problem is if I do start watching YouTube, then I'll get carried away, and then I don't do my own stuff. Like when I, I think, well, why am I watching somebody else's crap when I need to be editing my own video? Yeah, or you know something like that. God, I need one of these transmissions. If you want to just load that up. On the truck, real quick for me. Right, ready to rock. Heck yeah, that some badass transmissions right there. Did you see? The, did you see the transmission in the R32? No. You got stuff from one of them. So what is this? The new super motor stuffed in this thing, or That's is it? An RB. Oh, oh. It's an RB22. What's this whole twin turbo deal over here? Yeah. Oh, that's legit. So that the electric, like, EcoBoost turbos, or? No, 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 that, that, that's a stock RB26 front clip from this, this car, this, Vaughn will, Vaughn will probably give the full walk, walk around on this and show you the build. This is just, this has just been delivered. Um, one of our fun haver builds, but yeah, it's got a nice big, uh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. A little sequential. 
So how did he do going from right hand to left hand, or left hand to right hand? Well, luckily, you know, coming from coming from the drift scene for like twenty years, he's driven. Yeah, he's just... driven a few right hand drive cars. So I never have. I'd probably get in and fail miserably. That's awesome, dude. That's a sick ass looking car. That color, just God, that's my favorite color. That's lead foot gray. Well, if next time y'all see me, my trucks are lead foot gray. There you don't... go. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty color. I got the first one off, guys. Got to get a little blue one off. I still love this car. Like this thing is in awesome shape. I think um, Vaughn's gonna give this one to his mom for Thanksgiving. This place is phenomenal. Look at, it. I mean, just freaking 800 horsepower car, 800 horsepower car. Uh, there's no telling what that's got in it. I mean, it looks like a Cummins diesel, but there's. At this point, I would not be surprised. That's uh, got a boosted Coyote in it, big Whipple on it. Uh, there's nothing here. I mean, them probably have Coyotes or Whipples. Friggin' tires everywhere. I mean, this is like my dream shop. Definitely my dream shop. That's just the warehouse, like where they store all the merch and stuff. Like that would be like my dream truck shop right there. Honestly, I would be good with that. But we're working on that, guys. Rome wasn't built in the day, and uh, neither were we. So um, all we can do is work our way up. As you guys know, I don't ever finance nothing. I always buy everything cash. So that's why we're working on this new shop. It is a cash deal. So the problem with the new shop is um, only the shop part of it is zoned commercial. The actual parking lot isn't. So yeah, we would have a nice shop, but we'd have nowhere to park our equipment or our trucks or nothing like that. So we're having to work on getting that zoned commercial. It was grandfathered in years ago, but um, that since has changed owners and it's no longer like that. So. That's what we're working on in the new shop. That's what I was talking about with the paperwork. That's what we're working on. And uh, we'll be moving in that place as soon as we get that figured out. And then the old shop, we'll be keeping that forever. We either use it for storage, um, just the pickup trucks or whatever. So yeah, we are still gonna be making some upgrades to that. And um, but for now, we gotta get these off, get back to the shop and get busy. We got a lot to do this week. Well, that sign is not in our favor this morning. Let's back this beast off here. I don't have no guider on this trip. I'm gonna back it off the ramps. He's got some pep to it. Look at those rigs. T2000s are like the ugliest things ever built, but they're pretty, they're very comfortable. They're pretty nice trucks to drive, actually. I've got one. We used to run a green one until it just fell apart. Yeah, this car right here would be a nice car to drive around. It's got subs and everything in it. Nice seats. Definitely a nice car. Get my big butt out of it. That part. So the 
Fierro's made it. All right, back over the mountain we go. We got to get out of here. Get these two things home. Get them off the trailer. We got two tires to finish off there. We got two tires to finish off there. And raise a little hell. And then work on some big trucks. It's going to be fun, guys. For sure, for sure, for sure. So, guys, thanks for watching. As always, thanks for being a part of the YouTube channel. This is just, it's turned into something much larger than I ever thought it would be. It's awesome. It's nice to have you guys a part of it. And as always, subscribe, like, leave us a comment, and we'll see you on the next video.